Hello everyone, my name is Fiona Rajkumar and I'm a member of the Homeschool Association of Trinidad and Tobago. In this short video, I will be looking at an introduction to homeschooling in Trinidad and Tobago. An introduction to homeschooling in Trinidad and Tobago. What are some of the frequently asked questions? Well, one of the most popular questions is what is homeschooling? Homeschooling may be described as the educating of children by their parents or legal guardians at home instead of delegating this responsibility to other persons and or educational institutions. Parents and their legal guardians may also utilize the assistance of tutors that must remain actively involved in the teaching and learning process. Hence, the situation where children stay at home and connect to their traditional school via the internet is not homeschooling. It is traditional schooling in a different form. Persons who tutor one or several students in their homes or otherwise are also not homeschoolers since these persons are not the parents of these children. A private registered or unregistered school is not a homeschool since the teachers are typically not the parents of these children. Also, these schools can be seen as educational institutions. Another very popular and frequently asked question is, is homeschooling legal in Trinidad and Tobago? The Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago enshrines the rights of parents to choose homeschooling as a viable means of educating their children. Uh, and so from the Constitution, you can see directly it says, it is hereby recognized and declared that in Trinidad and Tobago, they have existed and shall continue to exist without discrimination by reason of race, origin, color, religion, or sex, the following fundamental human rights and freedoms, namely the right of a parent or guardian to provide a school of his own choice for the education of his child or ward. Based on our above rights, there is no requirement to get permission from the Ministry of Education in Trinidad and Tobago to become a homeschooling family. Parents are, however, strongly advised to inform the Ministry of Education of their intent to homeschool. And so a letter of intent is to be sent to the Ministry of Education, as well as to the school and the district uh, office, uh, child where the parent lives. Uh, for more information on, a, on the letter of intent, the Homeschool Association can be contacted. Who can homeschool in Trinidad and Tobago? Parents and guardians are legally eligible to homeschool their child or ward in Trinidad and Tobago. If parents have successfully completed secondary school, they can work through curriculum options that come with teacher manuals. Homeschool curricula uh, come also come with complete with lesson plans, activities, experiments, assessments, and answers. A homeschooling parent is not a paid tutor and is therefore not required to have the kind of qualification of a tutor or teacher registered with the Ministry of Education. Then do I need a tutor to homeschool? A parent does not need a tutor to homeschool at the primary or elementary levels. There are several homeschool curricular options available out of the US, Canada, and the UK that are specifically designed by educators to guide parents through their homeschooling journey. This eliminates the need for formal teaching qualifications because these educators know that homeschooling parents are parents working with their children at home. Thus, once parents are comfortably literate, they have a strong command of the English language. They can successfully homeschool their children using a homeschool curriculum. Homeschool curriculum often come packaged with a teacher's manual. The workbooks contain lessons, worksheets, and assessments that take the child through each topic. The teacher manual gives guidelines on structure in your day, lesson plans, glossary, alternative tests, everything that is needed to homeschool your child. The structure of the curriculum is often explained and you are guided through test scoring and grading. In addition, you can get scope and sequence of work to be covered from kindergarten to K-12 or all the way from primary into secondary school. Some homeschooling curricula include textbook or workbook curricula such as Horizons and, uh, um, Horizons and Life Pack. There's video curricula such as Abeka. And then there's literature-based curriculum such as Sunlight and Bookshark. 
homeschool curricula for secondary or high school students come with more with much more support for parents. And parents also have the option of working with tutors to assist them as they prepare their children for local, regional, and international exams. It is also important to note that parents do choose tutors to help them with certain subjects such as foreign languages, music, sports, building or woodwork, other areas that parents may not have expertise in that they would like to expose their children to. Transitioning to secondary school. Where this transition is concerned, parents have a number of options. Parents could choose to send their children to a private school, which they would contact ahead of time to find out what the requirements are, and they would work towards preparing their children to enter the private secondary school, as many of these private schools have their own assessments that you have to prepare the child for. If you would like to send your child to a public school, then you need to register with the Ministry of Education to sit the Secondary School Entrance Assessment or SEA. Contact the minister, the ministry, sorry, in September for information on registration deadlines and exam dates. You will be required to fill out a form, provide the child's birth certificate and two passport size photographs. You will be sent correspondence the following year, informing you of the child's candidates and center number, as well as the physical location of the exam center. Those who choose to homeschool their children through the secondary school stage, please note that students can also be privately signed up for the CSEC and CAPE exams. The Ministry of Education's website gives information on the exam dates and registration deadlines. And finally, what are some of the benefits or advantages of belonging to the Homeschool Association of Trinidad and Tobago? Well, there are a number of reasons that the Homeschool Association of Trinidad and Tobago um, were created for. HAT provides invaluable support to young homeschooling families as they start on their journey and help them to navigate the transitions into the high school years. HAT works on networking families through the provision of recreational opportunities and other opportunities for them to meet together. And most importantly, the Homeschool Association of Trinidad and Tobago represents the interests of homeschoolers before the Ministry of Education. And the Ministry of Education and the Homeschool Association of Trinidad and Tobago has had a long history of positive collaboration. And it is the aim of the Homeschool Association of Trinidad and Tobago to continue to work alongside the Ministry of Education and to uphold the rights of homeschooling families and to ensure that children in homeschooling families are able to enjoy the quality education uh, that they deserve, even as their parents make that extra effort to work with their children for the betterment of the children and ultimately for the betterment and the uplift of the society of Trinidad and Tobago. If you would like to become a member of the Homeschooling Association of Trinidad and Tobago, you can visit our website at www.homeschooltt.com and there you will find a membership form available. Uh, you can fill this out and you will receive a follow-up email guiding you through the process. If you would like to contact the Homeschool Association of Trinidad and Tobago, you can send an email to homeschooltt, homeschool.tt at gmail.com. You can send a WhatsApp message to 7305075 on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays during the hours of 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. And finally, you can send a direct message to us via our Facebook page at the Homeschool Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Feel free to contact us if you have any queries or comments.